Okay, now we're gonna start on the next step of making our bear. Um, this is the fun part, it's very tedious, it takes a while. Um, so, here we go. You wanna use a contrasting thread because you're gonna take it off later anyway. So it's easier to see if it's a different color. Take both sides of our face and tucking the fur inside. You just want to run a basting stitch to hold it together. You could pin it, but that's it pokes too many holes and it's just going to squirm out of the way anyway. These are slightly directional, so you want to make sure you have them going in the right direction. I do these pieces first because they need to be machine sewn before the next step, which is more basting. going to do um, a little machine sewing and we'll continue. Okay, we are back. Now it's time to take out the basting and fluff up the seams. Okay, you want to get all the fur out of the seam. together, line that up. Okay, the center seam that you just made. That way you have a, a symmetrical face. And there's his little face. 
Um, this is gonna take a while, we'll be back. Okay, we've got all our pieces hand basted it together. Now on these, we need to pick the basting out and pick the fur out of the seams so we can put them together. department at any hardware store. It kind of makes it faster. <clears throat> Alrighty. Slightly egg shaped, so you want to fold them in half. Not toning gin. shaped point and line it up with your front seam. Okay, now you want to take the back of the body and the front of the body and base them together. Okay, and now you're actually ready to start sewing. As you can see, I've been busy. All the pieces have had their basting removed. They've had their seams picked inside and out and been turned and picked some more. That's really important because it makes your seams disappear. Um, makes it look really nice. So this piece, as you can see, nice and square and symmetrical. And you just turn it very carefully. When you're using fake fur or mohair, you don't have to be quite so gentle, but this is frail. Just stick his little nose out. And then you continue to pick the seams so that you have all your fur on the side that it belongs. And that's it. It's been about three hours. It's, this is the most time consuming part of making the bear and it's also the most important. So make sure you come back tomorrow and we will make this pile of cute fuzzy little parts turn into a bear. <laughs>